Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your November. What I'm sensing is happening here is um, I do feel that for a lot of you, there is something beckoning you from the past and you're very preoccupied with it and um, at the expense of you know friendships new collaborations new group things and new opportunities to expand your social circle you're preoccupied with something from your past and you're not um, giving weight and credit to everything that's happening in your future and everything that is has the potential to be very fruitful in your future and along with that, it's the 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 um, the penchants to overlook new romantic prospects and possibly even you know getting into a, an argument with like a, a significant other and not being able to forgive him or her mainly because you're holding on to past grudges. Okay, is what I'm sensing. A lot of you might be in involved with a an Earth sign. This is a Pisces. Excuse me. Um, an earth sign. So this is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's also a water element associated with this, but let's talk about the earth sign first. A lot of you might be in new relationships with an earth sign and there's something that that is in their past that they've been doing that is exposed and you're not happy with it. But I do feel because they're showing up in the upright position, it indicates a lot a change, a progression happening in their lives and as a result of it you really should give this a, a second chance mainly because I feel that they've learned from the past and they've tr they're trying their best to move on uh, for those of you who are dealing with um, another water sign for example Cancer Pisces Scorpio I do feel that you're feeling a little bit emotionally rattled this is a month in which I feel that past actions might have the potential to come back and, and haunt you. So you want to be very, very careful about what it is. And, you know, also learn to forgive and forget and let go of grudges. Because I do feel that the karma will balance itself out. Because we do have here the Wheel of Fortune as well with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a card of the universe restoring balance and is corroborated with the Wheel of Fortune. So one minute you're up, one minute you're down, but I do feel that ultimately there is a greater, uh, a higher order to things that will restore the imbalances if there has been imbalances in the past, okay? So a lot of you might have, um, might be pining after an earth sign who has a little bit of a heavy history you, so that could be, you know, exes, it could be, you know, ex-spouses, for example, that are trying to pop into the picture, and as a result of it, you're feeling a little bit destabilized. You're also possibly feeling a little bit hurt and betrayed, and there might be rumors circulating around you that they're associating with somebody from their past, but as a result of it, um, at the end of the month, you realize that the rumors were unfounded, that you you were feeling not at your best when you jump to conclusions for example so this is a month for you to really work through um, work through your sense of security in your own self okay know what you're worth know who you're dealing with know who your partner is know the 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 nuances between fact and fiction Sift through the information that is coming through to you and make sure you arrive at answers in a more logical way would be my would be the the best way to put this because I do feel that you are inverted you're you, you're the page of cups here you are inverted so you know the, the it's a water energy and water does if you're looking at, um, you know, like if you're staring at the reflection of the water or you're looking, if you're trying to look at the bottom of the lake, the, the water on top, the, the, it, it shifts and it moves and it's, the truth is distorted. And I feel like that's what you're looking at. You're, you're inverted. So you're from like the bottom looking up and you're not seeing clear 
a clear picture. You don't know why there are people around you, you know, possibly spreading rumors and things like that. But as a result of it, there are definitely truths that need to be sifted out. So don't trust what you hear. Go directly to the source to find out the information. And if you are afraid to find out the information, then you have to ask yourself, you know, are you... Is it because you already know deep down that's the confirmation that you need? But either way, sift out the information before you jump to conclusions, okay? I do feel by the second, the last two weeks of the month, the information is going to come to light and the situation is turning around for the better. Because we have Ten of Swords, but it's reversed, meaning that a situation can be gone back to and fixed. You also have the Wheel of Fortune, which indicates a reversal of luck, okay? And the luck situation... I'm sensing that for a lot of you, for a lot of you, there might have been a person in your life, and I, I don't feel that the signs are going to be specific here. I'm just reading the King and the Queen of Pentacles. There might be a person in your life where um, in the past they might not have been operating at their best. They're going around this time and trying to make amends. And you don't really quite trust it. So you're telling them, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. And they do jump through quite a few hoops for you. And after jumping through quite a few hoops, you can't really backtrack on your words and tell them, you know, oh, sorry, I didn't mean what I said. You are actually going to go through with it and give them a chance. And we have the fool here that indicates, you know, that leap of faith. Um, being able to forgive forget and treat the other person um, in a dignified way. So this can mean, you know, rekindling things with them because you made that that promise, you know, that I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. And now that they actually follow through, you can't really back out on it. So you're giving it a second try. I do feel that it's going to end well, so you don't have to worry. Okay, so I do sense that things will be okay. Um, at the same time, for those of you who are in coupled relationship, and this is, you know, stable coupled relationship or even any type of a relationship that's coming through, I do sense that um, there's going to be a lot more balance. It's not apparent at the beginning of the month, but it's definitely coming through where your partner is actually taking, if you feel a little bit neglected because your partner has been working a lot or the, your partner has been, you know, spending a lot of time, um with their social circle rather than, you know, making alone, t making time for you. I do feel there's definitely stress on the work front that is taking them away from quality time with you. And as a result, they might just want to unwind de-stress and to hang out with people that don't require a heavy emotional commitment from them. And that's why they might have been absent, okay? Additionally, I do feel by the second half of the month, the situation will right itself. And there's definitely talks and breakthroughs in communication and also time for celebrations coming through the second half of the month. For those of you who are single looking, there is somebody for sure that you're, you've got your eyes on and you're pretty interested in. Um, a lot of you might be, you know, going from one relationship to the next because I do feel with a lot of um, Piscean clients that I've had, it's like one relationship starting on the heels of one ending. So if you are in this situation and you're not feeling at your best, you should wait it out because um, it's really, it creates a lot of miscommunication, trust issues, and unnecessary drama when we enter relationships, when we're not completely whole ourselves, when there's still emotional baggage that we are trying to grapple with or we're still grappling with, okay? And vice versa, if the other person has emotional baggage that you are aware of, if you are starting a new job and your coworker is doing things a certain way and you feel that, um, okay, so your supervisor is telling you one thing and your coworker is doing something else, when it comes to love relationships, affect you going into this month because this month seems a lot more stable. And it seems like um, things are on the upswing for you, especially on the finance front and especially on the love income generating front as well, okay, on, uh, on the romantic front. So get out there, socialize once again. And I do feel that relationships are coming to be to, to a point where they are a lot more balanced, okay? So Pisces, take care of yourself.